Hello! <laughs> Welcome to this video. If you're feeling a little sluggish today, this video is for you. <laughs> so I'm having one of those days where I just don't feel like moving and it's been a battle to get to my yoga mat. And I was thinking to myself, this might be a good time to actually make a video because I bet so many of you feel this way all the time. I know I do as well. My strategy for when I feel a little sluggish but know I need to move is to set my timer for 10 minutes on my phone and just move my body from the top of my head down my neck all the way down to the tips of the toes. So I focus on different parts of my body all the way down and I only just give myself 10 minutes to do it. The practice looks a little different every time so I'll walk you through today's version. I'll time it for you, let's get started. Okay, <laughs> so here we go, take a big breath, don't worry, I'm guiding you through it, so hopefully your energy will start to rise up just a little bit over the next 10 minutes. With your next inhale, reach your arms overhead, and with your exhale, take your left hand, reach for your right elbow. Lift up and over to the right. Feel the stretch through the right triceps, all the way down the right side body into your big latissimus dorsi muscles. Good. And my trick is to not hold any of the poses for too long. I don't really have a good attention span when I'm feeling sluggish. So inhale, rise up, switch. With your right hand, reach for your left elbow, lift up and over to the right. Really isolating the back of that upper arm. Inhale, rise up, release it. Good. Take your hands forward, stretch out the wrists for a second. And then take the arms up into the overhead plane. Again, I'll turn sideways for this one and move my hair. Take your interlaced hand to the back of the neck and then gaze down. So the heels of the hands are just massaging in through the neck. Your elbows are rooting to midline here. And then round your spine and inhale. Lift the elbows up and come into a little bit of an arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. And on your inhale, you can actually start to open your elbows out and press your ha um, head into the cradle of the hands. So standing cat cow. Three more. Nice to get that breath flowing. Two more. And one more. Mm, actually feels really good. <laughs> okay, we're two minutes in. Um, we'll just do a classic uh, stretch for the deltoid now in the triceps. So cross one arm over, doesn't matter which one. You've probably done this in every single gym class you've been in your entire life. Uh, but it does really feel great. Drop your shoulders. And then switch. Drop your shoulders. And then come to cactus arms. Draw the right arm in front of you. Hook the left arm underneath. Lift the elbows, drop the shoulders. Getting into the upper back now. Exhale, let it go. Cactus arms, draw the left arm forward, scoop the right arm underneath, lift. Let it go. Give it a little shake. Good. Taking a little mini sun salute. So inhale now, lift the arms, lift the gaze. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you, bend your knees, draw the heels of the hands together, hug your elbows back and start to straighten out the arms. Hinge at the hips and take the knuckles skyward. So notice my belly has landed right on my thighs. Keep your arms in this position. Come through halfway. Rest your um, knuckles on your sacrum. Shift your weight into your left foot and take your right foot back. Drop the knee. Scoop the pelvis under. Lift the chest. And then start to straighten out the arms. Good. Now we're starting to get into the whole body. So the upper body has been warm. Moving into the pelvis, 
and the hips. Inhale, lift the arms. Good, exhale, release. Tuck the back toes, straighten the leg, look forward, step forward. Inhale, hands to hips, shoulders to back, rise all the way up. Release the hands, inhale, lift the arms, lift the gaze. Exhale, soften the knees, hinge the hips, and do that same fold forward with your hands behind you, lifting knuckles now to the sky. And inhale, halfway lift, knuckles on sacrum. Push your weight to the right foot, float the left foot back, drop the knee, untuck the toes, send the hips forward, straighten out that leg. I like to slide my knuckles down the back thigh, opening up the chest. When I'm feeling tired, back bends are really, really nice just to bring some energy into my body. They're amazing uplifting postures. So notice how it feels to open across the chest, especially if you've been sitting at the computer probably for a lot of today. Good, release your hands down. Look forward, step forward. Hands to hips, shoulders to back, rise all the way. And just give that a little shake out. Good, we're halfway through, take your legs wide. Parallel your feet, bring your arms to a T. Let's get into those hips again. Point your right toes to the back of the mat. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, sink, warrior two. Really feel the right knee opening to the pinky toe side of the foot and the right sitting bone scooping under you. Notice to not reach forward. Be careful to not reach forward. Instead, shift your shoulders back over your hips. Straighten the front leg now, reach forward and release the bottom fingertips to the inner shin, the upper arm to the sky. Now lean back. Good, I know this is probably a stretch class for most of us who might not even be yogis, so rise on up. Second side, parallel your feet. This is one of the postures that is more of a yoga pose for sure. Point your left toes forward, sink down into what we call warrior two. Make sure you've got that nice stacking shoulders over hips. We're just really opening up the hips and the hamstrings here. Straighten the front leg, reach, 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 reach. Place fingertips to inner shin, upper arm to sky, lean back. Nice stretch for the back hip flexor. And rise up, parallel. Now take your hands to your hips, shoulders to back, lift the chest, come forward. And you might want to pause right here, fingertips underneath your shoulders. It's a great stretch for the hamstrings. If you're not receiving the stretch yet, you can keep going down. Heels of the hands can walk in line with the heels of the feet. Rise up halfway. Root the feet, take hands to hips, rise all the way up. And then heel toe your feet together. How are you feeling? <laughs> Hopefully a bit warmer. Root your left foot. Here's a bit of balance. If your balance is totally off, you can reach for a wall. Or place your hands on your hips. Let's stretch out the quadriceps. This one always gets me, especially if I've been sitting all day. So reach for your top of your right foot. As we do this, the knee likes to splay out. So look down, hug your knees together, and point the knee toward the standing heel. Once you have that, scoop your tailbone under and then look forward once again. If you're looking to go deeper, I can show you from the side. I want you to actually push your foot into your hand. So it's more of an active stretch. If this is enough, just holding the heel into the glute, you can do that as well. So two different ways to get a good stretch here in the quads. <laughs> Let's take another breath there, knee down, shoulders down, and then switch. Step to the right foot, bend the left leg behind you, catch the foot, align. So hugging the knees together, pointing the knee down toward the standing foot's heel. Then scoop your pelvis down. That really will get the stretch. If you don't know what I mean by that, again, I'll show you from the side. So instead of sticking your butt out, 
scoop down. That also engages your core and your standing pose. Go for another breath or two, either heel to glute or active stretch, pushing the foot into the hand. Both feel really, really, really good. Shoulders are down, let it go. Good, and then the last little bit here, just rise to the tips of the toes and release. Do that a few times, stretching out the feet. Last 20 seconds, big breath up. Rise to the tips of the toes, exhale, hands in. Twice more, inhale, rise up. Tips of the toes, exhale, hands in. And inhale, rise up. Exhale. Okay, hopefully you're feeling a little warmer. The whole body has received a bit of movement and you can go back to whatever it was you were doing before. Or maybe you have new energy now, so switch your gears and get outside or enjoy the rest of your day, depending on what time it is that you're participating in this class. Thanks for tuning in.